Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video. We are in fact uh, going to do a webinar in very soon, like in 5 minutes. So my name is Casey Lau, I'm the founder of CaseyLau.com and I have Theo uh, Gude here. Correct. Uh, he's a uh, creative strategist uh, from Rooms.Asia. So he's in my uh, recording studio now. We are doing the webinar in like 5 minutes about the digital influence uh, on the property market in Malaysia. So. Uh, Theo, can you explain a little bit what are you going to share with us later on the webinar? So basically, it's going to be very simple. We're just going to see the you know how time changes and basically how all these digitalization of today's world is going to affect the digital uh, the property market. So you know I'm, I represent company uh, startup called Rooms that Asia and our basis is this uh, digitalization itself. So you know we're use we're also going going to use our experience to see how the room renting industry. Uh, 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 you know, as well as some other industries are affecting the, the property market today. So I think it's going to be quite informative and, and something a bit fresh, you know, for, for nice. you know. That's awesome. I think like you. you're going to bring a platform that is going to disrupt the market. So we will see what it can do for us. And uh, you know, uh, like uh, normal people like you and me, how do we actually benefit from it, right? Correct. So we'll correct. see you in the webinar. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen only mode. Hi everybody, welcome to this Casey Lau's Money Tip Show. My name is Casey Lau and I'm a financial educator and author on a personal finance books. And thanks uh, for all attending this webinar where I arrange and get the creative strategies from rooms.asia to come all the way to my place. I think it takes him like more than an hour, I guess, <laughs> to get to my place here. So uh, thanks for doing this. Uh, Theo is in my studio right now. So Theo, uh, good day. Yes. He's a very bright young mind using his creative ways to achieve business goals and in fact he'll get top results for his company. His insight in marketing, psychology and branding allow him to become a major player within the Rooms.Asia team and to create high brand awareness in a short period of time. So uh, without further ado, I would like to do a quick sound check. <laughs> so if you want to... Uh, uh, ask any question you are going to use the chat box later so might as well try it right now you know, just type in something in the chat box say maybe good morning to Theo you know, welcome to Malaysia yeah. because he's from Croatia <laughs> yes yes I am from so, Croatia uh, you know, just a warm up mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a little bit about Croatia maybe yeah yeah, yeah. it's a uh, so yeah basically uh, I am uh, Theo uh, or you can call it like the proper pronunciation is Theo like Theo Ice Theo which is Ice, quite yes. funny yeah, <laughs> the same pronunciation it's a good icebreaker here you know mm -hmm. But yeah, I come from Croatia. It's a small country in Europe. Uh, uh, I've been in Malaysia for two years, and and uh, yeah, I, I love it. I'm part of uh, Rooms at Asia, which is very interesting. Uh, a young startup that you know, I like the idea of you know changing this room rental system. You know, which we're going to talk a bit uh, about a bit later. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, like you know, I'm. Yeah, I've been here for two years, come from Croatia, a very small country in Europe, you know, you should visit Croatia, it's a really beautiful country. I am a bit biased because I come from Croatia, <laughs> it's true, but trust me, just Google Croatia and you'll see everything you need to know, you know. So yeah. yeah and, and another personal side question, so mm -hmm. you see uh, a lot of people uh, like in Malaysia, we have, uh, I have friends who actually migrated, no, they migrate to mm -hmm. US, they, they're going to uh, Australia. Mm -hmm. A lot of them in Singapore, okay, and and now like Europeans, they are moving into Malaysia. So what's, what's good about that in Malaysia? <coughs> yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. it's a, uh, you know, it's it's a, it, it's all relative. You know, nowadays like the movement is much much easier. You know, and mm. people want to go where they want to go. They can find like you know professional development or you know interests in any part of the world. So I guess it's more of a personal preference as well. Mm and yeah there's something about it especially for me personally I've, I've you know b before coming to Malaysia I never had the proper intercultural experience so I guess like you know when I came here it just kind of attracted me it was a lot of new things you know I so sometimes yeah yeah <laughs> you know I sometimes I, I'm, I'm going by this you know saying that, you know when was the last time you did something for the first time you know so that's how I try to make my life a bit more you know you know 
spiced up, you know, interesting mm-hmm. and, and, you know, go into these very interesting, like, you know, uh, enterprises and doing, doing my thing pretty much. You know? Awesome. So, yeah. So today you are going to share with us the digital influence in Malaysia property market? Yes, correct. Okay, correct. let's uh, <coughs> start off with something. I don't know what mm. you're going to share with us. Okay. Yeah, so we're it. basically start. We're going to start with some digital trends in Malaysia. Just recently I, I uh, came up uh, with, I am actually uh, bumped into this very interesting statistics uh, 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 data by We Are Social, which is a, you know, global uh, social media agency. They are, you know, uh, uh, they have a a lot of awards as well and the data is visualized by lava so i need to you know of course say that uh so one thing about malaysia or and generally uh, what i've noticed uh, so for example for example they visualize this data they have this uh, we are social this branding uh, this social media group mm-hmm. they made this uh, research about various countries around the world i think it's uh, over over 50 countries at least mm-hmm. and they made the uh, statistics about what their digital digital trends are within their countries right mm-hmm. and uh, it's a very good you know starter for this conversation because we need to see the you know first we need to see the environment of the uh, 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 how do i say the place that's becoming much more digitalized and what actually is causing those things so one of the most interesting we're going to go a little bit through these data just for you to get the better idea uh, uh, for example internet usage i'll start for first i'll start with the data that was not visualized here but it's quite uh, interesting it's uh, uh, basically 71 percent of the population within malaysia owns a smartphone which oh. is actually yeah 71 percent that's that's a really big percentage and actually it's the highest percentage in the south uh, uh, in the southeast asian countries you know so 71%. when it comes to yeah when it comes to digital influences like malaysia is definitely at the top uh, uh, when it comes to smartphones and using internet on smartphones mm-hmm. so it's definitely if not first one of the first uh, top three countries in in, in wow. this region so even now, while I was coming to your place, I was using a, a, a LRT to uh, to get to a certain uh, uh, point. And mm-hmm. you know, just if you look around in the LRT, if you live in the KL, you can notice like people, everybody's bent down and doing something with their with their phones. <laughs> and it's either playing games. You know, it, now you can see all these statistics. Yeah. So basically, 55 percent out of those 10 people, probably you know, 50, uh, five of them would use some. You know, uh, uh, their. Uh, um, their gadget for social media or maybe watch all online videos mm-hmm. uh, uh, play some online games these are the most popular ones right now yeah. location based search as well uh, and online ba- banking which actually I was quite surprised by that number and it's actually wow. a good good sign for what we are you know doing as, mm-hmm. as these disruptors you can say uh, yeah 60% of the total population in Malaysia is actually active internet users uh, and 59% is mobile internet users. So don't confuse. Statistics can be a bit confusing if you interpre- interpret the data, uh, 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 you know, wrongly. So basically, 71% are the people who use smartphone. 59% uh, are actually those people who use internet on the smartphone. So we need to be real. It's actually not the 71% who Google through the you know, social media. It's these 59%, almost 60% that are using their uh, 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 little gadgets or smartphones to actually go to the internet and you know scroll through. So stuff that means there's still a percentage that is like using smartphone just for maybe a f- picture and calling. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. But then again, you need to make sure. Sh- uh, uh, just notice, for example, social media sometimes is. Uh, uh, for example includes yeah. watching videos uh, as well yeah. so basically if you have Facebook of course Facebook lately is using a lot of these videos because it's easier to attract people's attention and they have to be short and precise and concise and all that in yeah. order to that's that's the also psychology thing because you know with time people's perception and people's uh, uh, how would I say uh, uh, um, how do you call that? Uh, uh, um, focus is much much lower. Yeah. So, for example, you know, attention, attention right? span. Mm, yes, yeah. from 2012, from from around uh, uh, eight, uh, 12 seconds. Now it's reduced to around eight seconds. So you need to make sure that within those eight seconds, you make people, you know, <laughs> interested enough. So that means in, in within eight seconds, if couldn't couldn't get grab the attention, then you exactly them, exactly basically. yeah. I so I you know before each of these, for example, slides, I have eight seconds to grab oh. people's attentions right now in order to to make <laughs> things you know much more interesting for them. So that's that's one of those you know interesting things that you know and and it's normal because world is becoming digitalized and people uh, 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 what the the 
the point of these digital stuff is actually to reduce time and to, re to reduce effort to make people come to results much faster. And if you do that, you realize that, you know, people get used to it. So, mm -hmm. you know, based on that, their, you know, attention span and their patience and everything becomes much lower because they expect instant solution for stuff. You know, uh -huh. that's that's why they, you know, go to, to smartphones to find out immediately where can I go eat in my area? Where can I, you know, where's the, uh, the, the fastest kind of transport to get to this location and stuff like that? They want immediate solutions. So that's how the world works right now. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, uh, let's do a bit more. There's a, okay, I'm going to the wrong direction. Uh, okay, so when it comes to social media, of course, social media is a big influencer nowadays, especially with all these uh, applications coming up. Uh, right now we have a 59% as well as the social media, uh, 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 active social media accounts. Uh, also on mobile phone, there's 52%. So you can imagine like you, they open out of these 59, 52 is actually just mobile phone based, you know, which is quite a big number. And as wow. I said, just, just pay attention in the public transport. You realize that everything is done on smartphone, no matter what. Yeah, I think, I think mobile play a very great role in this, right? Because, because Correct. before Facebook, we, we already have a lot of social media uh, platform, but all the time we don't have the smartphone <coughs> to do that. Yeah, we, uh, exactly. It depends on the computer, but when, exactly. when you open a computer, you are kind of like, uh, want to work you are not going to social, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's very true. That's very true. And I can say for a fact, I mean, I don't have the statistical data for that, but I can know from my, I know from my own experience, Malaysia is definitely much more tech savvy than Croatia. <laughs> when I see older people using smartphones here, there's, it's not something you will see in Croatia. Mm. There's no, in my country, it's, it's a, you know, so, so I was also quite surprised how much popularized this thing is here. Yeah. And actually it makes me, you know, I was quite, how would I say? Excited to see that it was a new kind of environment, right? Yeah. And so wow. <coughs> more than half of the population have an active account. Wow. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. And uh, yeah, so when it comes to web traffic, uh, uh, mobile web traffic is 47%, which is almost half uh, 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 of the total pretty much. Oh. Uh, uh, web traffic is 5% on tablet. So, and yeah, it's not something you see on an everyday basis, someone, you know, using the bigger screen to maybe on their, you know, when they're home, but it's not very convenient yeah. to go take it outside and all that. <coughs> and laptop is still slightly, slightly more popular, uh, probably for those a bit more technical stuff, you know, if you want to pay or... Uh, 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 you know any any kind of particular on online banking stuff the people feel more secure still using laptops i believe than yeah. then you know smartphones is still a bit might be a bit tricky but we're working on that mm -hmm. times are changing for sure social platforms of course facebook is the most popular one uh, uh, very close next to facebook is whatsapp whatsapp mm. <coughs> it's i mean that's pretty much probably the first two things we check when we wake up like yeah. most of us you know <laughs> and facebook messenger closely connected to facebook so those three come very close together then Google Plus, WeChat. WeChat is quite popular here. Uh, there's something that, for example, I didn't have in Croatia. So that's I opened that account here for the first time. It was quite interesting. <laughs> and when I realized how much popular it is in China as well and what oh. you can do with it, I was quite amazed, to be honest. You know, it was mm. not something I face every day, you know. Then Instagram and, you know, so on. You have these other... Uh, uh, platforms but pretty much it, it you know makes sense if you look at your daily life you know all those listeners now they are listening to us if you, if you notice you know they are basically pretty much I'm pretty sure that you use the the, 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 the you know smartphone for high percentage of stuff that you do in your daily life I even saw some there was some data where they say you check up your you check your phone about 170 times if I'm not mistaken in one day which wow. is uh, yeah which is actually you know it's, it's a bit creepy when you think about it. Like, you know, so much dependency yeah. on just taking out this phone and checking, you know, if someone texted you, if you, you know, checked. And we want to the have time. the phone by our side at all time. No? Exactly, like exactly. Crazy. So this this <laughs> is something that, you know, I'll, I'll come back a bit later too because, you know, all this technology stuff, it's a beautiful thing, but it can be a bit, you know, tricky, you know. Mm -hmm. and we'll come back to that anyways. Like okay. So... One more thing, uh, when it comes to this particular part, uh, part is e-commerce, something that might interest us a bit more because basically this is what our businesses in, in, in real estate as well are, you know, basing their existence on, you can say. So people use their laptop mostly for research still, it's 59%. 
So as I said, I think they feel still more comfortable, you know, and more organized when they have on the bigger screen stuff. You know, they can you know open more tabs and stuff like mm-hmm. that. They can save easily and, and things uh, and so on. Um, to to purchase that that's forty percent forty four percent of usage on a laptop of a laptop. Uh, mobile phone for research is 24%. Uh, so this is something that's you know that can be a bit insightful because you realize that although the smartphone usage is quite high, the mm-hmm. percentage of it, using mobile phone to research, which might you know imply something slightly more serious, something more you know productive, mm-hmm. people are still not on that level of awareness where they can actually you know use it for something that they have might have the actual benefit from. Of course, social media is a benefit on its own, but it might not be as you know beneficial as something a bit more technical, more necessary. So they still use their laptop, for example, to, to research. You know what what's uh, mm-hmm. I don't know if they have their personal businesses or whatever. They use the the, the phones uh, to the, the laptops to use it. And mobile purchase, the uh, number is thirty one percent, which is you know quite an interesting number. Probably you know a lot of Lazada u- users around <laughs> here. You know, <laughs> like eleven <And> so on. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, pretty much th- these are the trends in Malaysia right now, uh, uh, and we're gonna. I'm gonna talk a bit more about digital influence about this uh, in the real estate state market. Okay. So here we have some uh, uh, some of our partners and friends that you know Rooms that Asia has been you know talking to and, and partnering with. Uh, uh, this is for you to get the idea that how this influence is basically influencing this real estate market how 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 can it be connected those two together how how can it you know be so close so it's actually very very uh, interesting ideas you can connect it now since okay so so the future is becoming digitalized it's very i think it's a common sense to believe that you know later uh, people will you know you'll have a lot of holograms you know a lot of these automatic stuff you know the work power will be much less necessary because of robotic you know uh, input and ai and all that stuff and you know, we see like all these young businesses and young young startups nowadays are thinking in you know thinking ahead. They're thinking in in terms of future. So, what is future bringing to us? So, all of these labels and brands right uh, now here are basically uh, somehow uh, you know forward thinkers, you can say, because all of their businesses are based on digitalization and mm-hmm. the the future technology that will influence this real estate in, market. In fact, some of these companies I've never heard of before. Yes, actually, it's a, Igloo Home is a Singaporean company. They do the automatic clocks. This mean Igloo Home? Yeah. Igloo Home, yeah, yeah. Igloo Home. Oh, Igloo okay. Home, yeah. Igloo Home. Okay. So they do the automatic clocks. So basically, you have a passport, uh, pass, uh, password mm-hmm. to you know enter the apartment. You can reset your pans- password as well. There is no uh, Wi-Fi connection. So it's, you know, you have a token, you get the number and then you automatically connect your lock to your phone so Mm. basically you know you can manage if you have a i don't know cleaning lady coming in she you know you unlock for her she comes in then you know you can unlock it from malaysia so you You can yeah you you can can do that exactly you can do long distance you know it's it's a very very interesting actually where we're talking with these where we're thinking of partnering with them uh, yeah, they're 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 available oh. in, in Malaysia. One of our partners is a pro- property investor, and he actually in, in, in implemented this lock, and he's very happy with it. Wow. Actually, yeah. So this is uh, something that you know, it's a very interesting uh, thing. Uh, Rema is for for um, what's the name? Property this management. Rema. Yeah, yeah. Rema, okay. their property management. They're trying to digitalize all the property management solutions. Lipro and Lessees are the ones they do the tenancy agreement and legal services online. So mm. they're trying to get all these, how would I say, uh, 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 for example, you can download a template for, for tenancy agreement and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. you don't have to go to do, you know, you don't have to meet people personally, go to the banks and all that. Everything can be digitalized. So that's... Yeah, agent charges like 500 ringgit for... Agents, uh, stuff. It's, it's, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> of course, like they, they have to include them, but there is no intermediaries nowadays. So, mm-hmm. so that's where we're trying to get we're trying to get uh, to the point where we don't have to uh, have you know some kind of third party connections mm. but every everything can be done directly between the landowners and tenants for example this is the same thing with rooms at asia ip88 is one of the uh, this is well known here yeah yeah, yeah. it's, it's uh, you know uh, things that you know is getting more and more popular yeah. uh, uh, payment gateway line motion for example they are yeah. this is a really cool company that actually i just discovered re- recently they are do the vr 
uh, virtual mm. reality yeah. and basically they are focusing on property market as well so you know instead of having agents and you have to physically go to those places mm. you put the goggles on or, yeah. or you know you have various ways to actually go and see this place virtually walk around it and oh. see yeah, yeah you that can means check you, out you can maybe you go to the real estate agency office then you can view a lot of properties just from exactly, there exactly right? exactly using this line exactly wow. that's a you know very interesting idea and and brilliant concept <laughs> it's still of course all of these things are you know getting implemented we're going to come later to the challenges that we are now, facing are these, in these... All, all these company now in, in malaysia yeah oh. these are all malaysian companies wow okay so uh, igloo home is singaporean actually i haven't checked exactly line motion i know they're operating in malaysia but originally they're from malaysia not not okay. entirely sure but you know the rest lipro rima lessees i pay rooms everything is malaysia line um, i think they are but you know don't take my word for it i i, I suggest you check just in case if and you're from rooms so we'll yeah. talk more about rooms later yeah, as yeah. Well. yeah no problem it's a uh, actually yeah i was just about to conclude this particular part the thing is that as i said uh, these are the challenges also we, we also feel a lot of challenges it is a disruptor kind of uh, companies uh, startups and things that are kind of changing the game uh, you can say revolutionizing or you know however you want to put it but the times are changing and we're trying to follow that change uh, uh, as I said I'm gonna come back to the challenges later <coughs> there are a lot of challenges despite this being like you know if someone by side you know hears about you know rooms that asia digital renting room renting platform and stuff like that people will say oh it's awesome it must be like you know very easy to think of something like that something new and and you know it might just pick up on its own but it's not actually that easy as it as it might sound you know all these things are digitalized we still need to create the awareness so as for rooms that Asia introduced, the other, uh, uh, you know, friends, partners, and other company startups that are uh, my, that, that are interesting to mention. But I'll stick a bit more to the rooms at Asia because this is my uh, particular field. I work with, with room rise, uh, the rooms that Asia. I'm a creative strategist. So what we are going to talk about is basically what are we based on? What do we do? So. It's a first of all, just to you know, quick introduction. Rooms that Asia is a room renting solution. It's a C two C platform, customer to customer, where tenants and landowners meet directly. Uh, uh, right now we're just a platform. So basically, we have our website. You use our uh, uh, website. How can we uh, check the? Uh, Go on the, the website, website. Right? yeah, yeah. Okay, here. <coughs> yeah. This is the website. Very simple uh, platform. We use it as a hub. As you can see, we have over eighty thousand listings right now uh, across Malaysia. We just the other day we expanded and uh, expanded to Singapore. So it start from Malaysia, not from. It start from oh, Malaysia. Okay. <coughs> it's a Malaysian startup. So then we moved to, to Singapore. There's number of listings is still quite small because we just started. But in Malaysia, we're actually you know picking up. People are starting starting to use it more frequently. So basically, when you come, uh, people would say, okay, probably you know we are uh, something similar to uh, uh, Muda or Ibilek, mm -hmm. which are very popular nowadays. Yeah. And uh, actually, that's very true. People would say we we are kind of competitors, but we don't have this mentality of trying to you know become better than someone else to make people our enemies. Actually we're quite we're quite transparent and open uh, mm. when it comes to these kind of stuff we don't want to as i said we don't want to make enemies we rather uh, 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 work together then, then you know, try to have this uh, one thing i noticed about startups nowadays people are very uh, becoming a bit egoistical in a sense that okay they are startups they are revolutionaries they are disruptors they have this you know game changing solutions i'm the best you have to follow me because this is the future we don't have this kind of you know i, I understand where they're coming from but we don't we don't want to do that we want to actually work together to create this kind of you know environment where things will be more digitalized and more and more practical in, in the future. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, as I said, like, we don't consider Ibilic or Muda any, you know, our competitors, something like that. So, mm -hmm. matter of fact, like, if, if you are... Uh, uh, if you are a landowner, you can post with a few clicks on our website your room, and basically we will uh, uh, post it to another platforms for you. For those same platforms that I just mentioned, I Bilek and Murak, you post on rooms, and we automatically post it for you your room. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so that's that's how we do it. We want to collaborate instead of you know com compete. And as I said. It's it's a very we, we want to keep things very simple. Uh, we focus on rooms. 
Now, although, of course, you can you can post the whole apartments, but our main idea is rooms. So rooms, okay. uh, what we focus is low to middle income families, households, working mm-hmm. professionals, uh, expats, you know, and all those matzales that come from you know, <laughs> from outside come here. And, uh, you know, they're looking for rooms and it's a long term rental. So some people might compare it to, to Airbnb. Airbnb is more short term. We are long term. Yeah. So minimum six months. Mm-hmm. So it's a proper rental uh, you know, kind of marketplace. Uh, coming back to our what's the name the slides yeah the slides so yeah the thing is uh, uh, right now uh, uh, there is this intellectual uh, called Michio Kaku uh, uh, I'm not sure if uh, you know, that? people are recognized <laughs> that, that's a name that's a Japanese oh, oh. that's a Japanese futurologist uh, oh. scientist okay. uh, Michio Kaku and he actually predicted that in the future some of the workplaces some of the particular uh, uh, how would I say uh, 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 professions was actually just disappear there would not be necessity for them and one of them actually he mentioned the agents are one of them oh. so we found it like very interesting we actually found it after after we started doing our business and, and we found it very convenient because that's exactly what we're trying to do we don't want to uh, 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 make enemies with, with agents but we realize that it's actually not necessary to have a third party mm-hmm. so as I said so we try to connect tenants and landowners directly so right now we're at the point where you know uh, 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 as you can see here we move directly from the tenant we move the whole the business like between tenant to the landlord so agent actually is not necessary because this process this path right here we plan to digitalize completely mm-hmm. as I said uh, rooms at Asia right now is a simple uh, uh, room renting platform but where we want to get that our model actually is based on digitalizing the whole room rental process mm-hmm. so, so we want to come to the point where tenant and landowner don't have to meet at all hmm. so everything can be digitalized yeah like, like for example I'm a landlord mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. okay so yeah I'm a landlord so so I, I still give agent to do my stuff because I I don't want to have the hassle of you know sending the the previous tenant away and then get somebody to clean the house <laughs> correct correct and yeah. then come and greet the new potential tenant and uh, greet a few and finally decided on one mm. <laughs> so I leave this job to the agent so mm-hmm. you are trying to breach the the gap now is you know how about rooms.asia you can replace the agent and do everything of that Correct. so I'm really eager to <coughs> hear what, what you're going to share yeah, with us. yeah. Uh, definitely it's, it's a it's a actually we, as I said we try to keep things very simplified we don't want to uh, 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 we're not trying to make enemies we're just trying to kind of revolutionize the model you can yeah. call us disruptors we just think we're you know trying to put something new mm. uh, it's like a, you know Uber for real estate market in a way <laughs> and uh, yeah so as I said right now it's a room rental uh, rental uh, uh, renting platform but but we're in the process of developing this application. Of course, there will have to be a certain kind of meetup to, you know, hand in the keys and yeah. all that. You cannot avoid that. Of course, those are the mm-hmm. kind of things that, you know, you have to do. But we want to simplify to the point where anything can be done. Like all these technical yeah. stuff can be handled online. Mm-hmm. Payments, you know, agreements, uh, uh, all these uh, live video tours. And I'm mm-hmm. going to mention all those details a bit later. And pretty much very very simple uh, 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 very simple concept you know we don't want to keep it too complicated because it doesn't work sometimes the best solution comes like so we're also wondering why mm-hmm. why not you do the whole unit as well now you start with room it's possible it's possible oh. the only thing is that uh, our target we're not focusing on whole u- units because our time targets are low to middle income families oh. and they are actually at the point right now it's very hard to you know uh, people it's the, the the predictions for this year is actually that the property are actually going to the, the the prices are going to be stagnant or going going to go higher mm-hmm. and actually people don't have money nowadays to buy you know the whole mm. apartments you know especially after you know the the, the weakening of ringgit so you you'll know, be the seeing that you know, room that. rental will be in a more demand compared to uh, yeah we predict that yeah. and and even if it doesn't there's still going to be a certain you know demand because yes. people are always looking as long as there is human beings there are going to be the necessity for you <laughs> yeah. know get, having a roof above your head so that's one of yeah. the basic human needs you know <laughs> so we're not like worried about not having a demand because demand there will always mm. be there mm. so for example uh, uh, yeah <coughs> even predictions for you know Malaysia as I said we're planning to expand to the whole region so we spent to Singapore, probably next step is going to be uh, uh, either Indonesia or, or, or Thailand or Philippines. We're still thinking about that. But for example, you know, predictions for Indonesia, people are going to, you know, it's like a third or fifth, if I'm not mistaken, most, most uh, 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 
populized country in the world, mm. so the biggest population. Uh, 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 and yeah, so the predictions, people are going to start, you know, coming, there will be more need for that, a uh, 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 large room to grow. Uh, as we already mentioned, based on statistics, there's a hard, uh, high uh, smartphone penetration in the market, so people are using their phones. And as I said, we're developing application, which mm. the, would be based on this. Uh, it would be like a, a phone application, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to, you know, follow that trend that we mentioned just earlier, and just you know, digitalize everything to the point where people, okay, I'm looking for a room. How can I do? Oh, there's rooms at Asia, you know, application. I go there and actually, you know, see all the rooms available. Yeah. Pick up the one that I, you know, that I want. See the view. Uh, see the room, and you know, very very simple. Uh, yeah, pretty much like there would be direct uh, communication between landowner and tenant. So if there is any questions, you know, no need to download the number, save it, you know, and then WhatsApp and you can do it directly from the platform. Platform, It's very, very user friendly. We plan it to be like very, very user, user friendly. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, yeah, so when it comes to rooms, as we said, like we try to avoid agents because it's just unnecessary hustle and cost for, for you know, for... for I don't know, for uh, uh, landowners, it might be a bit, you know, tricky to get all the, you know, tenants to agree and all that. And uh, it's easier when you have direct control in a way. Uh, uh, although, you know, we, as I said, we're trying to make it easier also to have things listed so they don't have to feel like they're losing a lot of time while they're managing their property property through the application. So we want to simplify things completely. Mm. The, all the processes through the application. Start standardized e agreement so th that would be included. So all the contracts, you know, would be digitalized. Uh, uh, zero deposit scheme. That's something that you know we're trying to implement. We're still developing the proper uh, model, but we already have a good good idea of how we want it to be. We're right now we're, we're negotiating with some banks. So when it comes to zero deposit scheme, right now you have a lot of young people. For example, you know, either expats or students coming here from either area within the country, you know, or, or, or even outsiders that, that come here to study. And it's actually, it's quite expensive for them to pay deposit for, you know, nowadays you have to pay for at least one or two months ahead. Yeah. And that's a lot of money, actually, you know, especially if you include all the utilities and all those additional stuff costs. Uh, that's quite quite tricky for especially for those young people who are you know unemployed and, and eager to learn and all that it might be quite depressing you know to spend so much and not even start earning money you know and uh, and very burdensome for their families as well mm. so what we were thinking about uh, uh, of developing the model that would be quite 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 actually simple and straightforward uh, we would have to so so tenant would have to pay on a monthly installment uh, on the monthly basis for the uh, room rentals. So they won't have to pay the deposit. We don't want to include the deposit for them. It would be too, uh, too burdensome, as I said. But uh, so what we would uh, do is actually negotiate with banks the, the, the deal that basically bank would issue the money to us and we would pay it to the landowner for six months. Six months is a minimum per period. And... Uh, so basically we would take this risk mm. of having to you know pay the money to the to the landowner uh, uh, and also if there's as a contract you uh, basically it means that you know people expect that they would uh, uh, how do i say appreciate this contract and go with it so tenants would have to pay only monthly in uh, installment with a credit card you know one one time you know everything goes to a uh, bank deducts the money they have for uh, uh, for the future six months then basically we just pay uh, uh, they pass it to us and we pay to the landowner so that's why we you know in this part we take our cut so quite quite like kind of uh, quite simple process of getting this um, uh, 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 rental thing going on and as i said the, the main idea is trying to uh, okay, make it uh, less let, let me recap um, mm. what, what you're going to do mm -hmm. uh, now with the uh, rooms uh, that you're making tenant easy uh, mm -hmm. so you are you, uh, instead of paying like now the Tenant is have they have to pay two point five months as a deposit, right? And yeah, that was one yeah, month right of now. advanced rental, so correct, they have to come up like three point five months rental uh, before they can move in, right? Correct. Yeah. So, but with rooms, uh, then they can actually have zero deposit. Yeah, they don't have to do. They will just pay monthly installment. They come so they first start month, first month. They just yeah, pay one month advance, right? Yeah, yeah. And then the six month <coughs> on this three point uh, two point five months, right? The deposit will yeah, be correct. zero interest installment by credit card. Correct. Correct. So that means bank already issued the money to correct. to you and. Uh, you pass it to the landlord and i pass it to the landlord okay yeah. and landlord is you know in at peace for the next six months 
And you know. And how about the advanced six month rental here? You mean uh, this is how, how how does owner get in advance all the six months rental? So we would go. We would uh, 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 give the money immediately to the landowner. So that means the, it comes for from six months. Yeah, that money comes from rooms. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so from bank already. From bank it? to the rooms. That's where we get oh. our cut, and that's where we. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, so that's the process, pretty much. That's the business model that we're I trying see. to develop. We're still discussing. So definitely, if people have any ideas or anything in particular they want to, you know, input, we're uh, we're not saying this is the right answer. This is the way to go about mm. it. It's just the idea that we're trying to implement that right now happened to be the most efficient one so far from you know all the input mm. that we've got. But definitely, if if anybody has any particular you know comments like just feel free to you know let us know you know even now like if, if, if you have anything <laughs> ideas just just type it down it's not a problem at all we're very open-minded and very accepting what other people's ideas you know so but so this is a very good idea mm. if it, it can be arranged right on, on mm. the third point here you say like on the six months on uh, of the lease that means that after six months already yeah they will renew the contract and then you know then for the next six will months pay is it directly to the rent to the tenant or still through rooms uh, the same thing. It's just repeating. The the, the cycle repeats down. Oh. The same the same process. So since it's like we say a longer term, it's minimum six, a minimum oh. six months to twelve months and maybe even oh, longer. So if you make a contract on six months, at the expiry of that contract, basically you renew the contract for another six months. Oh. So, and with the same. With then the that same means the the t- the landlord is going to like being paid twice like, in a year, right? So yeah, six yeah, months yeah. in advance yeah. and six months in advance. Yeah, six months in advance. yeah wow. pretty much. Wow, good. Yeah, so yeah, I would be it's, the it's, landlord. <laughs> <laughs> no problem definitely we will uh, you know when, when we start to implement that we will spread the word you know <laughs> that's, that's for sure how, how about we address a <coughs> question here uh, by Alicia mm-hmm. she's asking about the tenancy agreement is it agent is actually helping to do the documentation documentation mm-hmm. and also they are they're helping us to you know do the stamping as well you have to go to the tax yeah department so, to get that, so that thing is uh, uh, we have as I said we mentioned earlier the partners that we work in glass C's tenancy yeah uh, so they are the ones who do the legal advisory the services lepro and lessees lepro and lessees oh, correct okay. so they do the legal advisory and they do all the uh, uh, online contracting things so basically what we would do uh, we partner with them Excellent. and correct these two mm-hmm. so Feel free to Google them and how they work because they have a very interesting system of where actually you can download oh. the, the the tenancy contract, tenancy agreement, and uh, all the uh, legal documents are actually done through them. Uh, it's very, very, very interesting concept. So basically, we would just try to be the intermediators. We don't want to play the role of uh, uh, of uh, agents or lawyers or stuff like that. We are we want to connect people through this application. So those all of those people who provide solution, for example, Lepro provides uh, these legal uh, solutions. We would you know uh, partner with them. We already partner with them actually, wow. and and you know they would they would do this uh, on behalf of their business. So basically, that that's the main idea that I mentioned earlier. We don't try to create enemies. You know, we want to collaborate together mm. and you know try to get, uh, try to make things work. So yeah. Can you just uh, just uh, go through briefly? You know how mm-hmm. how this works if you are using like Lepro solution. So. Uh, we sign it digitally. We don't. So okay, uh, right now it's uh, uh, we're at the point. Uh, we keep it very simple. Okay. Now we only uh, 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 implement their uh, uh, tenancy agreement. Mm-hmm. So they have a you know it's very very straightforward. They download the the the, the standardized agreement. Mm-hmm. There's one option to download the standardized one, and there's another option to make a custom one. Right. Mm-hmm. So they download, and then actually you know based on that agreement, they you know uh, sign the contract together. Right so now, we pay like, a, it's, like it's a, a minimum online fee signage. to yeah, 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 correct, correct, for correct. that standard. Correct. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. And so that's the thing. That's how we are trying to connect and trying to make all these things work. Uh, as I said, everything is, all of these things are a work in progress. And, and you know, th- this whole thing in the property industry already started as well. So we're also exploring a lot of trial and error here, you know. But, but so far, we know for a fact that we're heading in the right direction. All these particular details, you know, we're, we're you know, figuring out on the way. Yeah. So nice. basically, ju- just the other day, just a, like a little detour. <laughs> uh, actually, last night I was listening to Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Okay. His, yeah, the, the, the founder of Facebook. Facebook. Mm-hmm. And he was uh, having this talk uh, for some college in, I think, North Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. Doesn't matter. But basically, he was talking in front of these uh, uh, young students who are very eager to learn, you know, and mm-hmm. they are uh, very motivated to listen what he has to say. There was one question like, how do someone 
how does someone uh, know when the idea of their product of, of what they're trying to uh, um, how do I say implement involve in their business how do they know it's uh, uh, is the right time that this idea is ready right mm. and his answer was actually you know the thing is that there's it's not about you having the idea if you just sit there and work on your idea mm. it's nothing is going to happen you you cannot count on that you have to actually start working with the idea in your head so despite you not having all the steps and procedures or processes like mm. defined exactly in your head what well, you're going to do it on the way mm. but it's important to start doing and that's how the idea also will develop and you'll find for solutions on the mm. go because if you just sit on your table put down in your business plan all the ideas and stuff you're going to find so many reasons why not to go through with this same idea yeah. because of course there's a you know certain dose of fear there's a certain dose of you know a, a fear of unknown because you know sometimes people uh, head into direction that they're unfamiliar completely with you know so 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 and that's what he said just don't think too much if you have an idea uh, in head just stick with it but start doing already so start yeah. working on it the moment you get the idea if you really want to go through with it yeah, that's and how that's, he built facebook and that's how he built he, he actually yeah he didn't graduate at all you know so, yeah. so 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 it's quite interesting you know and and i actually agree a lot so so what we're implementing right now this is also like a learning process learning mm. curve and we're going with it as well it's easier when you do it in in a group of, with the group of partners you know those friends that i mentioned you know the the the, the, the you know uh, lessies in igloo, igloo home and all those people like you know we talk to them we, they are willing to partner they're we already uh, uh, finding solutions to you know make all this thing work together and uh, it's really cool actually it makes mm. you feel like you know in a very friendly family like environment right yeah. so, so and together we overcome these challenges because digital world is very unpredictable itself mm. it's 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 a period where you know we're entering this period where there's no rules you know even the legal system now has to change based on you know yeah. I, I just one of my friends the other day i met a friend like she she told me she's a lawyer and she told me she wants to you know be a cyber lawyer and i was like what the hell is cyber lawyer <laughs> what, what is that oh it's actually kind of you know as as the technology improves the legal justice system is actually actually also have to you know evolve with it because yeah. there are some ethical moral issues or some technical stuff that you know are it's not mentioned exactly in the existing exactly law, right? exactly mm. so things are completely revolutionizing so that's why we're doing this uh, 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 a uh, trial and error thingy because even we don't know where we're gonna get eventually we can yeah. predict and the lo common sense tells us you know everything will be digitalized and and, and you know technology is going to lead but yeah. you know we don't really know right yeah so <laughs> yeah it's it's a, this is this like excitement you know <laughs> So as we said, like it's a development plan, you know, easy payment scheme, e-tenancy agreement. You know, we have a messenger where uh, uh, yeah. landlords and tenants would uh, directly connect, and all the stuff they can, you know, you yeah. know, discuss between themselves. ID and room verification. Once the team becomes a, 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 a bigger, we will have like a, you know proper verifications of all the. Oh, rooms. that'd be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So actually, there's no cheating involved and all mm. that. Uh, <coughs> blacklist the tenant database. Something like, uh, for example, Uber rating. Rating, right? Wow. So people would say, okay, how do I know this tenant is a you know legit one? He yeah. he's nice. He he knows how to take care of my property and all that. Yeah. Or or even landlord. How does this landlord? You know, what if his apartment is not as nice? So you know you can just simply you know it's like like what's the name there's this couchsurfing application where you can go stay at people's places for free and every time you stay at their yeah, place yeah, you, know, yeah. you make a review of the person how did he treat you what did he do and basically that's uh, uh, how other people can base their Couch decisions surfer on. or something like couchsurfing oh, yeah couchsurfing, yeah. couchsurfing. Yeah. couchsurfing. it's yeah, like a yeah. traveling thing yeah. very simple like guys if you if you if you want to you know travel for a low budget you don't mind going a bit adventurous you want to meet local people it's actually free right staying yeah, in place, yeah it's right? free i it use it like, i use it for you. quite some time it's it's oh. a brilliant application i met so many nice nice beautiful people you know yeah. i went i went to sri lanka i didn't pay accommodation at all but i you know met with local people they introduced me to the culture culture wow. it's brilliant it's brilliant so that's the thing like try to things make things easy and more mm. budget friendly you know so as i said like we would implement this blacklisted tenant database which would be like pretty much review or, mm. or, or, or a rating of each of the tenants and it will go both ways also the, the landowners as well so that's yeah. how people would feel more secure after you, yeah. know, you know staying at one's place to see like okay how do i know this place is legit it's it's a, you know it's a nice place to live in the, the landlord is not abusive or something like that and so yeah th this would solve that particular problem so, 
Yeah, actually, uh, there's one more thing that I forgot to mention. It came a bit okay. fast to the end here. Uh, also, we would do the the video viewing of the rooms as well. So it will be uh, uh, either 360 photography it depends. You know, we can start with 360 because, of course, as you start as a startup, you know, you have lower budget, so you need to think of you know a bit less expensive solutions and slightly develop them to the point where we can actually even ourselves involve the VR, you know, virtual mm. reality mm. viewer of the rooms. That would be like the ideal solution. But we need to start with something. So we were thinking, why not, you know, either trying to implement like 360 uh, a view of the rooms, mm. like the, you know, the photography 360 or, or the video itself. Mm. So we actually have our team uh, that would go to the place, they would verify the room, at the same time they would record all the rooms. Yeah. So tenants would not have to, you know, feel, uh, you know, take the whole complete day off to check like an apartment or two to, to, you know, to see where they would stay. They can actually go directly from their application, from their phone. They can see, okay, this is the room. And, you know, as, as we would walk through, we would say, like, what is there you know what's involved in this, this particular uh, 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 apartment and basically they would see everything at this same spot they would feel like they are being there at that moment yeah. so it makes it much much easier for them to make a decision and it saves them effort they don't have to walk around they don't have to go you know to the place themselves you know walk from this place to another location you know it's <laughs> yeah, at least really, you can really use the hassle. AR thing or the 360 video correct, to, to correct. filter uh, exactly. down to the a few choices that exactly. you want to visit right you save your time it saves time both for tenants and the landlords because as I said we have a, a property <coughs> pardon me we have a property investor in our team and he every time the tenants want to view the room even he has to take his own time as well because yeah. he has a full-time job yeah. right so he has to take a time to actually you know find the mutual how would I say time that would suit everybody and then they have to go and they have to waste time probably either after work which is you know you would prefer resting after yeah. work after you know long day at work or you know take the complete day off and just go out and you know explore places yeah. it's it's a uh, unnecessary right it's, i mean if you find a room that's really nice for you you can find it online see it and just move in directly there's no you know need for you to come in of course it, there are a bit trust issues with people so sometimes yeah. you know they would need to you know check before they come in just in case which is normal but it's still easier if you have a you know everything visualized right at the spot you know so <laughs> okay, good, awesome. So, so now uh, you, you you tell us uh, you told us a lot of your ideas and the development mm. plan, and uh, which is uh, we I I personally see it as this is a very good thing if we mm. have this. Uh, I think a lot of people will be using it, but of course it, it will take time, so it will take a lot of resources of to course. build these things. And at the meantime, if you want to ensure that you can successfully build all this, and what we can do as normal people is we I think um, the 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 thing that makes sense to us is we should start using your site so yeah, that you make yeah. sure you have traction <laughs> so that you can get this thing done, right? Yeah, that's that's correct. <laughs> that's Actually, this is one of the things that we're coming also to uh, uh, talk about, like uh, about mm. the challenges. So it all sounds, you know, very nice, mm. very, you know, even maybe to some people revolutionary, very different, you know, very new. Mm. <coughs> but we also have our challenges, of course. As I said earlier, it's a, it's, a, it's a new field that we tried on. A lot of improvements, both from a legal point of view, from, from a, you know, the, a, a, um, property perspective as well. So the, the main challenge is, first of all, public awareness. To make people know that, you know, mm. we, are, we are out there, we exist. You know, you can actually go uh, to check these places says and uh, you know j just to create as I said this awareness that you know we have the solution that can solve your problem mm. and that's it so right now if you have a room rental platform now people would think okay I build it first the first place I will get to check you know uh, uh, where can I find the place we want to come to the same point you know yeah. I build it has been around so people know about it it's yeah. a like a default thing that they will go to you know yeah. rooms that Asia you know we're right now the model is similar uh, uh, although I think it's more user friendly and much more convenient for landowners because you know if you post on our website we post directly on I build and Muda and you know uh, and those kind of platforms so it saves a lot of time. So you want to post it? Just click here. Yeah, yeah. Just post, or you know, on the on the top left. Oh, okay. So you can see you can collect, uh, select the city, you know, the the, the apartment type, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are all over Malaysia. We have in JB, uh, uh, in in Penang, in Malacca, you know, quite a number of, of listings as well. What kind of apartment? You know, what do you prefer as well? You know, what kind of a uh, uh, gender? You know, even even to the race. You know, people are particular sometimes. You know, so so they they can choose. And then you add the title and you add your photos, of course. Mm -hmm. You can even add a link to the video and say the rental and pretty much all those main details 
and just just we can even add the link to the video you mean here in the description uh you can include it shoot shoot your uh, uh select your files you select the video and and you know that that's it pretty or you can select a yeah, video yeah, to yeah. upload as well yeah okay so it's quite 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 straightforward you know oh. as i said we try to keep it as simple as possible you know because a lot of pages the verification could fall like yeah, it's uh, a verification for us, for our database. So basically, you have your number, we protect your number, so you have set a, uh, send a cone, we give you a code, a code for a, approval, and then you basically... That means when, when we want to post your ad, then you send a verification code for us to us, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, you, send code here. Yeah, so yeah, you, yeah. you, you number, press send code, and we give you the code, you enter it, and then we... Uh, so that know, our so. number is not displayed to the public? Yeah, uh, they, they yeah. you, you click, click on the... What's the name? On the uh, contact, and it unveils the contact for you. Oh, and so. okay. And it's... Uh, of course, I mean it's it's hard to if it's a public pla uh, platform you need to you know make your <laughs> number available somehow people need to yeah. you no know, but there's no uh, uh, hassle in terms of <clears throat> having to register to you know confirm your email and stuff like that no need for mm. to do that you know we're just direct straight to the platform you know no need for all these verifications. I, I like, like this icon know. here like rocket <laughs> yeah, somehow yeah, know a, what it's going yeah, to do <laughs> yeah <laughs> our developers are very very okay. good very good <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of our team members, who's uh, he's actually a developer here, used to work in Silicon Valley. So, you know, he's a uh, very knowledgeable of these, you know, particular, you know, coding and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so one of as I said, those one of those challenges is this public awareness thing. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, another challenge is, is actually, as I said earlier, we mentioned when we went through the statistics, uh, uh, we said like. Okay, uh, there's need for this. The people use the smartphones. They use their, you know, for social media and everything. But how actually much do they use their smartphones for, to actually handle the stuff that matter more? They are more, mm. how do I say, more responsible in a way. Of course, it's different if you use the smartphone to play the game mm -hmm. or you know just scroll what your friend ate this morning, you know, and mm. what 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 he was or she was doing. And it's different if you actually, you know, try to use it for some practical solution such as, okay, finding a room, I need a room, you know, trying to, of course, Uber is popularized because, you know, you need to go from one place to another, Grab yeah. doesn't matter, you know, so they already have this public awareness, people know that they can, you know, if they don't have any particular alternative, they can always grab or Uber, you yeah. know, to, to a particular destination. But since we are still quite new in the market, we still don't have this awareness of, okay, I need a room. Or uh, uh, what would make me think that you know I would there would be an application for room rental, right? Yeah. And another thing is also that uh, basically uh, uh, people who are uh, landlords as well, like how do we make sure that they would be uh, uh, um, gadget or tech friendly mm. in order to be you know very how would I say diligent with this application to yeah. be responsive and all that. So that's something that actually time will tell. Because uh, uh, we will have the product out there, it will uh, happen within this next uh, six months up to a year. And the thing is only like, as I said, to make people know that it's out there and to make people uh, use it, right? Mm -hmm. And right now, people don't have a habit of using application for something that's more, how would I say, I dare say responsible. It might be a bit, you know, hard word, but, you know, they use this application mostly for entertainment, edutainment or any, you know, some kind of uh, social purposes, right? Mm -hmm. But not yet for those, you know, more serious stuff such such as housing, you know, or, or I don't know, e even the online purchasing. Okay, the, the numbers are still quite okay, but it's not as you know is is some other country. You know? mm -hmm. So that's another uh, how do I say aspect to this awareness that we're trying to bring. And um, what else was there? And. Uh, yeah, pretty much those are the main issues, you know, the, the, how yeah. to make people see it as a, something that, you know, can help them, you know, with their problem and like help them solve it very fast. And this brand awareness of, you know, okay, we are out there, we exist, we provide, we provide the solution because, yeah, people, times are changing, as I said, and, and it's <laughs> going to, it's going to get there, but it's nicer if people would recognize it, you know, yeah. sooner rather than later. You know? Nice, we have some Same. questions here, Sal, but we, mm. we address them and we'll uh, ask you some more questions. Uh, okay, this one is from you when you say, the since the security deposit element would be removed here, so what happens if tenant damage the furniture of the owner? How will the owner get compensation for that? 
I think uh, even a misunderstand uh, on, on the thing, right? Yeah, as I said, you like still get the deposit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. still get the uh, deposit and everything. It's it's uh, the thing is that uh, uh, as I said, all these legal terms, uh. Uh, 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 legal terms are handled between the tenant and landowner yeah. with their you know properly made contract between themselves, which is actually a solution that's provided by you know lepro yeah. and, and lessee's tenancy agreement, and and they are the ones who will be the intermediators in this particular aspect. Yeah. So we don't do the legal stuff. So mm-hmm. we just provide a solution for them. Mm-hmm. And when it comes to landlord and tenants, first it comes to them personally, what they agree upon, and then it comes to them, you know, how how the Lepro and and, and, and the, you know lessees handle you know this particular stuff. They, they give their advisory. You know, they, they say, okay, this is how things is. And it's much. Uh, we come to the point, of course, at the starters, it's gonna be hard to guarantee that there will not be any damaging and stuff like that. But once the uh, the tenant rating system comes mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be much much less uh, yeah. present, you know. It's gonna be, you know, I, I'm really predict that it's gonna be reduced, you know, drastically. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they're asking about the cost for the landlord. So like before this, we are paying, uh, the agents right one mm-hmm. month as a service, uh, one mm-hmm. month of the rental as a service. Whether we are renting out six months or one year, normally they get one month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah <laughs> okay. Right. So uh. So in here in this situation like rooms dot Asia, you say that you you'll be making money from the from the deal you you strike with the bank, right? Correct, correct. Bank. So basically, very straightforward. You know, we managed to get this uh, uh, um, money issues the the uh, bank issues the money to us. We take a part for our service fees, mm-hmm. of course, and then you know the the rest we forward to oh, pardon me, we forward to the what's the name uh, to the landowners, Landlord. and it's all is going to be within the price that the landowners uh, landowners are going to put uh, on the website itself. Mm-hmm. So basically, they will get the money that they you know ask for, mm-hmm. but for us, it's going to you know charge it a bit higher because of mm-hmm. the you know these uh, what's the name service charges you know. So we, so, we still get what we uh, landlord. Correct, uh, correct, correct, correct. Okay. Right. So it's very very typical you know kind of business process you know do you know how lepro and lessis charge for the service for the they uh they have their own they have their own uh how do i say a uh, system of charging uh-huh. of course with us it's different because we're partnering right so, uh-huh. so it depends on the mutual agreements you know, if okay. you do it on an individual basis they have different approach if they do it on a partnership basis they have a different mm-hmm. approach. so i cannot really speak for them to me but generally it would be cheaper <coughs> than what you pay the agent right yeah definitely okay. definitely much much more cheaper much more convenient Okay, so, yeah. nice. <laughs> so I have a question about uh, Rooms or Asia. Now, how how did it started, and then who who are the people behind? Like so, actually, initially, uh, as I said, this I always come back to <laughs> this uh, friend of mine and colleague. Uh, he's a really really cool guy. He's a property investor himself, and he has a number of properties, right? Mm-hmm. So he was issuing all these problems that you know we're trying to solve with Rooms that Asia right now. Mm-hmm. So he's the one who had to go through from you know from bank to the lawyers to agents to. to so your you know, friend, that one is a Malaysian. Yeah, he's okay. a Malaysian. They're all Malaysian. Okay. And um, and basically, you know, he's the one who had to go through all these issues. And he was thinking, okay, uh, uh, they came together. Two of them came together, mm-hmm. and they said, okay, how can I? find a solution that would you know help me with this particular problem i don't want to like they have so much effort to cover all these properties mm. what if we have like a you know place where i can manage all these properties just by having my phone pretty much you know mm-hmm. so <clears throat> i can i don't have to go to the places you know people can view rooms online you know i don't have to you know deal with all these procedures going to and fro from one place to another everything will be done you know dig- everything will be digitalized so you know it w- we started last year in august <coughs> something like that yeah we yeah. started with the you know uh, this humble web page with a few listings uh-huh. you know and it started rolling up but initially the the, the 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 whole platform the main idea is to ease the life of the landowners mm. so this is something that people will like you know it's it's a uh, Maybe uh, 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 it's actually easing the life of both, but initially started as okay. How do we ease because the life? Because the of founders landlords? are landlords, right? Correct. <laughs> okay. yeah. So, so they are the target group that we were mm. first initially thinking of. So, how do we manage to solve this particular issue so they don't have to be the ones to go through all this hassle? And mm. tenants is easy for them to find rooms. You know, either you know uh, they go online. There's you know yeah, number of Ivy yeah, yeah I believe Muda, Muda and all that. Mm. So. From from when it comes to from the tenant's point of view, there's not that much uh, 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 differentiation. Other than you know, once we create the application, it will be much more convenient even for them. Yeah. You know, through you know, see uh, virtually seeing the, the apartments and you know the rooms and stuff like that. So that's why I said it's it's. Uh, 
the, the idea was to ease the life of the landowners and we come to the point where we want to make it benef- a fishery for both parties right yeah. so both tenants and landor- landlords don't have to go through all the hustle just go directly to the website and handle all these stuff uh, yeah pretty much that, that that's great the, so so at this moment is that if you're a landlord you have a room extra room in your house you mm-hmm. want to lease it out on a long-term basis six months and above yeah not Airbnb huh? yeah, yeah <laughs> okay. not Airbnb. so you want to do that you can come to rooms.asia yeah. and then you can click the post your ads and it is all free because exactly. when you post here it is going to be posted <coughs> in uh, Muda and Muda I believe, I believe. yeah correct uh, is there any other, uh, any, any other uh, right now Muda and Abilic are the main okay. ones that, yeah. but anyway those yeah. two are the, yeah. uh, the, are the big guys here. yeah those are the yeah. <laughs> most most popular ones so that's free and <coughs> still when when the deal is strike also you you don't charge anything from from landlord right no uh, uh, at this point there's no uh, only once yeah. we develop application when the landlord start yeah, uh, your money yeah back, right? that, that, uh, that's where we right now, now you're doing there's free no service problem, for yeah, this is a pre- free service for everybody there's no <laughs> okay. charges yeah that's good that you mentioned it okay. because people might get afraid like intimidate okay it's so yeah. cool so simple what's what's in it for you you know how do you yeah, like, no, like this Buddha, one, they will yeah. say you know you can pay more for feature listing things like that right correct yeah, correct correct yeah, yeah. more money right exactly exactly no this is <laughs> our main idea like for having this you know just giving out like this is to create this brand awareness yeah. because as I said we plan to expand we mm-hmm. plan to you know let people know about us even further than within the borders of yeah. Malaysia so how do we do it it's best if you just you know get it out there yeah. and and you know let it let it roll out on its own so that's why we said like this brand awareness is the main thing we're fighting for and you know we don't need to charge at this point like anything we're just doing this as a you know platform yeah. for this easy solution once we develop application we have a model that will be fair for all the parties yeah. so both tenants will don't have to pay these the deposit landlords will have to you know have their own thing you know uh, uh, monthly uh, they would you know pay for six months and we would have our own cut in it and that would be like yeah. a very simple business model yeah so that, that that's the main idea right, right. now everything Great. so free. i think even with this feature alone now it's free service so i will already use it because before this mm-hmm. i have room for to 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 let out then uh, i'll have to post it two places at least like muda.my i'll mm-hmm. do it once and i'll do it at ip lake another time correct <laughs> so if uh, now have room so i just do it one time at rooms and i get it on three websites exactly together, exactly yeah. automatically saves you you know so much okay. time you know? <laughs> no nice. registration and awesome so uh, if uh, there's no other questions and uh, really thank you Theo for spending no worries, your time here no worries, and uh, sharing with us <laughs> really happy really happy to be here it's uh, my, my first experience doing a webinar I hope I was I was clear enough guys you know if you have any questions feel free to just contact us you know we have our Facebook page as well so just come you know check us out you know we're very responsive just uh, send us a message we'll, we'll yeah maybe we can tell a little bit more about Singapore as well because I, I see that there's just a, a few listing here is this direct from landlord or do you have to are you going to partner with uh, some other sites in Singapore no, uh, similar to I believe <coughs> uh, we're thinking right now I think we're going to do the same model pretty much mm. it's going to be the same thing we have no reason to, to you know be how do I say very possessive about these kind of listings you know so so you know Singapore as I said we yeah. started just recently so we have just a you know smaller number uh, of are these from rooms. landlord uh, directly uh, landlord you know some of them is landlord some of them is uh, 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 automated you know. oh. but uh, mostly it's the landlord we we want to have a genuine listings mostly right oh. so so the genuine listings are the one we're fighting for the most and the one we actually you know including in our our particular beta database and all these are the ones that we care about the most because yeah. everybody who uses our platform uses our service we want to make sure of course like it's a customer service as well, as well you know we okay. want to make sure they have the nice experience it's simple and the feedback is there you know if there's anything we can improve just come back to us so yeah okay um <laughs> Okay, do, do you know, uh, there's uh, one more question, so mm-hmm. we address it before we end it. Uh, is there any website that is similar like rooms.asia but doing for whole unit? No, they can, people can post whole units on rooms.asia. It's not, you it's, can also there's do it, no right? restrictions. Even if they want to post the rooms for just three months instead of six months, mm-hmm. it's very open. There's no, there's no restrictions there. It's just our model, our vision is to have it like, we would prefer if it's a, like a longer term mm-hmm. and if it was room individually. Mm-hmm. And But you can see if you guys just go scroll on our website, you'll see a, quite a number also of full apartments as well available for rental. Oh. And the same, the same process applies. You apply, you uh, uh, post post your whole apartment we still post it on Muda and I building you know it's it's uh, there's no issues there at all so yeah there we don't do these kind of you know okay you have to do this we're just focused on that if you have any particular room it's housing in general right 
our initial idea of, okay, we would prefer rooms, but if you have apartment, just go with it, man. It's, it's perfectly fine with us. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Good. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for attending. And, uh, yeah, no worries. Uh, thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week on the next <laughs> webinar. So thank you. See you guys. Thanks, see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>